Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today and Happy New Year. I've gotten a lot of questions around my dance journey, how I got into dancing, and I got a recent question from a lovely lady called Chantal who had a few questions that sum up a lot of the other questions I've gotten. So I thought I'd make a video around my dance journey and a bigger idea around hopefully inspiring you this year, this new year, or whenever it is you watch this video, around following your dreams and following your passions. Chantal asked how I got into dancing, if I did classes in the past to learn how to move the way I move, and as well as what I would suggest to someone who wants to keep dancing or do what they love when they feel stuck and how I stay consistent with my art form of dancing, if it's the poetry or my traveling that helps me stay consistent. So I don't remember not dancing. I'm an introvert and was really shy when growing up, but I never felt self-conscious dancing. I would create and perform little dances as a girl, sometimes teach them to my sisters. I've never been really good at socializing and at house parties, I was either reading a book in the corner or I was on the dance floor. I didn't have the opportunity to start taking dance classes seriously until I was 17 years old. But once I was given that opportunity, I grabbed it. With no past formal dance training, I auditioned for my university's dance program, got in and began. Dance training continued through medical school. During any break I had during my really busy medical residency years, I was in dance class. And after my residency, I auditioned for and became part of a contemporary dance company in New York City. After three years or a little bit more of that, I left the company to move to Paris and began creating and performing my own dance work. And I've been doing that ever since. Did I do dance classes in the past to learn how to move like this? Yes and no. I loved classes because it was the chance to challenge myself to do someone else's choreography and to dance with other dancers and to hone my skills. And that's why I still do my own created dance class every day to keep improving my craft. But I'll be honest, a part of me had to unlearn years of class to truly find and then embrace my authentic movement, a movement that is uniquely mine, that comes from having long limbs, a short waist, a spine with scoliosis, and open hips that love to dip and swirl, a movement that comes from me being a poet and a doctor and a Scorpio and a yogi and West African in origin. I move like this because it's who I am. If you're someone who wants to keep dancing but feels stuck, if you're feeling stuck about how to ignite your passion, whatever it might be, I encourage you to find, develop, and embrace your unique style of expression. Do not try to dance, paint, sing, or write like anyone else but yourself. And understand you cannot mess this up. If it is your passion, that is the gift not the accolades or lack thereof or any feedback, but the fact that this thing lights you up. The gift is in the being. Release any expectation of this gift except to be with it, converse with it, play in it. Playfulness, I think, is one of the best ways to get unstuck. Sometimes you might begin to love something, discover a passion at age 20 or age 35 or 65, and that is so beautiful and worth honoring. It's never too late to do something that ignites joy within, that opens you. The way I stay consistent with my dancing goes beyond being inspired through travel or poetry. I've kept dancing because my reason for it has always been clear. Initially, it was just for the joy of it. Often, during some really dark moments in my life, I danced because it kept me sane and it helped with my healing. And now as a poet, dancer, and doctor, I feel privileged to integrate my passions and create and perform dances that I offer as healing for those who watch the poem dances. 
To know that my dance can be powerfully medicinal to others is a powerful motivation for me to keep at it. So find your reason for your art. Whether that reason might seem small or large, that reason might evolve, but find what it is for you now. This will keep the flame of your passion burning with a light that elevates the world. You are a unique and creative being, and I'm wishing you so much love on your journey. Mm -hmm.